So this is the EA Reef 600S uh, tank and stand. It's still covered on the front and side because uh, it was uh, missing the uh, tank mat to put the tank on uh, bet between the bottom of the tank and the stand uh, when it arrived from uh, Evolution Aqua. They are sending me one out. should be with me in the next couple of days, so I've not, uh, not had a chance to get it wet yet. Um, hence, I'm leaving it wrapped as well, but it's on the stand. I went for the... Whether you can... Went for the white stand. Um, and it's high quality laminated um, all the seals are uh, siliconed which obviously stops some uh, some of the uh, moisture getting in um, soft close hinges yeah overall constructions good um, disappointed that the mats were in it but they've uh, they, they they've sorted it out pretty quickly spoke to them last and tell in the last week and uh, with the bank holiday It'll uh, be an extra day or so, but hopefully it won't be long. So if you've seen the first video, that's the sump, uh, the modified sump all in, with all the equipment in it. Um, so in the left first chamber, you've got the, uh, it's all TMC, Tropical Marine Centre equipment. So there's a V2 200 watt uh, heater, uh, V2 Pro Skim 450 skimmer. Um, you can see the big pipe. Uh, drain uh, with the um, with the uh, stop valve in line, and I've I've just put a uh, sock uh, with matting on the end just to give it a bit of filtration. Um, obviously, the middle middle section, as I said in the first video, will be a small refugium uh, with the uh, small uh, refugium light, and then the pump uh, return is a TMC V fifteen hundred. V2 1500 um, again with the uh, with the uh, stop valve in line and that will go up and you'll see the small small tube going down for the uh, auto top up which hasn't set because the water level has not been set yet so um, power wise I've just got a strip strip there everything's labelled up as you can see um, and then I've put another strip in this top right here just so it's a little bit higher uh, for the other equipment um, and for lighting, you'll see um, that is provided by a small, uh, I think it's about 48 LED uh, strip light that um, I got off the uh, good old eBay, um, grand total of about six quid, uh, but it, it lights the cabinet, lights the cabinet really well um, and more than enough light for, for doing what we need to do. So um yeah just got a bit of the few wires to tidy but um nothing nothing too drastic. Um lighting on the main tank is again uh TMC so it's uh Acroray. Uh it's a twin 600 system uh with the white mounting brackets. Um it's a little bit wide to be fair so it's slightly overkill for this tank I think. Um so what I've had to do is I've had to double up the aluminium spacers here to, to to drop the light down and get the extra width to get in uh, and that's worked that's worked okay uh, and the, the back of the tank is just covered with uh, sticky black uh, plastic um, and obviously the, you've got the drain on the right there and the return nozzle I've got a small power head in the bottom left again a TMC um, 2000 litre per hour uh, power head um, and there is a small digital thermometer in this bottom corner as well, um, which obviously is turned off at the moment. So that's uh, that's its final resting place. Um, as you probably, if you've seen the first video, I cut the auto top up out of the out of the sump. So what I'm using is a small uh, Biorb uh, Life 19 liter tank. I'm, I'm just leak testing it at the moment because I'm about to seal the seal the airstone at the bottom obviously not going to run that with the uh, RO top up water and again I'm using the TMC V2 Plus ATO with the second sensor turned upside down so if the reservoir runs out the pump won't fire um, mainly because I go away with work uh, occasionally for a week 
Um, so obviously I've sealed the S down. I've left it in. You, you can cut them out, but I've left it in. Um, and I've just sealed it with a load of silicon. And that's the uh, that's the little tiny pump with the with the hose coming out. And then uh, the sensor goes to the back of the tank, and the other sensor will be in the return pump. So um, once it's wet and it's got some stuff in it, I'll uh, I'll do another video. I'll see if I can get a better. I think it looks uh, looks quite smart. The cabinet, as I say, the cabinet's awesome construction, uh, and EA have been very good about the missing parts. But um, yeah, a little disappointed they they weren't in there. But uh, I'll make another video once the uh, once the tank is wet, um, and I've got some bits in it. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers.